All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. Well, Steve Perry just did something that he hasn't done for 35 years. He uh, reappeared on a song by the Irish, call them folky progressive alternative band Clannad. And talk about a weird collaboration when you look at all the collaborations that Steve Perry has had over the years. Um, the Clannad uh, collaboration back in 1987 was probably one of the strangest and uh, most interesting as Perry's um, vocals just basically almost like a tribal yell. I don't want to say scream because it's not really a scream, but it's an echoey kind of backing uh, vocal that goes along with the song originally done back in 1987. The song is called White Fool. They reimagined the song for the year 2022. So literally 35 years later, you're getting uh, another version of the song. And for hardcore Steve Perry fans, I think this is an interesting development, but it's, I'm going to be honest with you, it's nothing spectacular. If you compare the two versions, I'm a little bit more partial to the original version. Keep in mind, um, Perry was in a state of rebellion from his bandmates uh, at that point in time. Not sure if the, re the recording originally was done prior to his um, strange exit at the time from the band Journey, where a lot of people just didn't know. Uh, there was... I mean, if you live through that time period, uh, I think people were wondering for at least two years. And then, of course, bad English emerged. And then everybody was like, OK, I guess Journey is over. But a lot of people still hung on, thinking that maybe the band would get back together again. Of course, they made that appearance at the uh, Bill Graham concert, I believe, in 1991, where it was just Steve and John and Neil, which was interesting, but it was just done for that reason alone. And then that was kind of it until trial by fire. But um, if you're into alternative music, Clannad is very interesting. Steve Perry has this eclectic side, you know, his work with John Five and his appreciation of things that you probably uh, wouldn't think he'd be into, like, uh, for instance, the Eels, when he appeared with them. I'm not sure how they even felt about it, because uh, his music and their music really don't go together all that much. But Perry is into some different stuff. Uh, and in this case, he's probably at least fulfilling uh, something that uh, he still believes in, which is this particular band, Clannad, uh, they are very popular in their home country. Uh, they didn't really take here in the United States at all. But I think people listen to White Fool, this song, because Perry is on it. Uh, just like Jeff Golub, when he recorded, Perry was on a song with him. David Pack from Ambrosia, uh, he appeared on a song with him. And also, um, trying to think, America and Steve Perry had a collaboration. I think it was right around 1984 when Perry was still in Journey and seemed to be fairly content. So Perry, uh, every so often, will lend his vocal talents out. And uh, typically, it's interesting, you know, and for hardcore fans of Steve Perry, um, it's a nice little diversion to hear what he's doing these days. The vocals are actually fairly similar between the new version and the old version of this song. Uh, and this is something that Steve Perry can probably do at full strength in the studio and not have to really strain his voice. So check it out. It's called uh, White Fool. Um, it is a new version. They've posted it on various social media sites. The original version of the song appeared on Clannad's 1987 album called Sirius, where uh, Perry also was joined by Bruce Hornsby and J.D. Souther, which is a real 
interesting combination here. But um, again, this might not be everybody's thing, but it is interesting to hear Steve Perry on a track in the year 2022. And for those of you waiting for new Steve Perry material, well, this is maybe something to uh, get you prepared for that. No, I have no idea when Steve Perry is going to release anything. I would say this, though. It's a big year for his former band, and uh, they're putting out music. So I wouldn't be surprised if Steve Perry put out music maybe just prior to when Journey is going to put their stuff out, because I've seen that there's a little bit of competition still there. But who knows? It just might be a coincidence that this typically happens when Journey is ramping up. Steve Perry starts to uh, come out of hiding, and we'll see if that happens again. So again, the more active Journey is, the more likely you'll probably see Steve Perry showing up at some point. All right, people, again, thank you for supporting this channel. I need your help as usual on Patreon for a dollar a month or two bucks a month. Uh, Patreon really keeps this thing going because, you know, the income uh, tends to fluctuate doing this particular channel. And I do have another channel you can check out called The Real Media Observer. Not quite as active doing that channel. Uh, something has to really uh, get my goat in order for me to post a video over there. And that's more straight up politics and uh, culture and things like that. So in any event, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.